In this video I will show you how to add and subtract measurement in feet and inches. Let's uh, get started with uh, two numbers. How about 17 feet 8 inches and uh, 3 quarters must be added to 8 feet 10 inches and uh, 3 quarters again. Let's see how this works out here. To do this successfully you have to add the fractions with standard fraction addition. Add the whole numbers as standard whole number addition. Let's start with the fractions. 3 quarters plus 3 quarters. They don't work this way. You have to write it up separately and as per normal procedure they must have their own common denominator or you can use the modified fraction addition that works on a tape. Either way the answer is uh, 6 quarters which is a nice number but I need a mixed number out of it so that's inch and 2 quarters which is the same as inch and a half reduced to lowest terms. 3 quarters plus 3 quarters is 1 and a half. That's the result of the fraction addition. 10 plus 8 is 18 and I'm just gonna write it there with a little space between the two and 17 plus 8 is 25 there. 25 feet 18 inches and inch and a half. So far so good but just what is 18 inches? You cannot have anything uh, anything greater than 11. A number greater than 11 here is a problem because you don't find this amount on a tape measure. So you have to regroup some of it. You have to take away 12 from it. But before you do that, let's start at the uh, at the end. So just hang on to the 12 there. We have inch and a half here and 18 inches. You have to combine the whole numbers here. You have to add the whole numbers. And this becomes 19 inches there done with the 18 and done with the 1 you have 19 inches and half an inch so the half an inch carries down into the result it stays there 18 inches plus 1 makes 19 inches so we couldn't have 18 inches and uh, it won't work with 19 inches either we still have to subtract 12 from it so 9 take away 2 is 7 1 minus 1 is 0 so the final answer is 7 inches there and a half inch is still there and then because we subtracted 12 inches from this 19 this gets increased by 1 and we have to add it 25 plus 1 is 26 26 feet 7 inches and a half is the final answer to this addition problem Let's take a look at how subtraction works with these measurements. And for this subtraction you must start with a greater number uh, to be the subtrahend, to be the number on top. Let's go with, um, I don't know, 19 feet, 8 inches and uh, 3 eighths. And let's subtract 2 feet, 5 inches and 1 eighth. This is an easier subtraction where there is no trading needed. However, the steps are the same. You have to do the fraction subtraction first. 3 eighths minus 1 eighth. 3 8 minus 1 8 is 2 8 which is reduced to lowest terms is a quarter inch. The quarter inch carries down here and is part of the result. 8 minus 5 is 3, 9 take away 2 is 7 and 1 minus nothing is 1. The answer is 17 feet 
three inches and a quarter inch so far so good now let's take a look at one where uh, trading or regrouping is uh, or borrowing is necessary let's start again with how about 19 inches uh, 19 feet 10 inches and uh, oh, I don't know three quarters of an inch and let's subtract 7 feet uh, 11 inches and uh, 15 sixteenths again same procedure applies we have to start with the fractions but how do we subtract 15 sixteenths a fraction greater than, than 3 quarters now if you already know that 3 quarters is the same as 12 sixteenths you understand that you cannot take away from 12 sixteenths 15 sixteenths this must be increased and this is where the tricky part is you have to take away one from the inches and the 10 becomes a nine nine inches and from that one inch we made 16 sixteenths so let's write this one up here is the three quarter inch and we have to take away 15 sixteenths from it we can't because we have to increase the three quarters that three quarters is otherwise 12 sixteenth and there is the 15 sixteenth part so when we take away one inch here that one inch uh, becomes uh, 16 sixteenth that must be added to the three quarter inches to increase it so 16 sixteenth plus 12 sixteenth minus 15 sixteenths we can also rearrange this one addition and one subtraction to uh, make it look like just rearranging the terms 12 sixteenths plus 16 sixteenths it's the same so far I just changed the order minus 15 sixteenths now this is going to be easier to do it this way look at this one the 16 sixteenths is next to an amount 15 sixteenths 16 fifteenths take away 15 sixteenths just for this part here the result of it is 1 sixteenth 16 fifteenths take away 15 sixteenths is 1 sixteenth and this needs to be added to the 12 sixteenths which is uh, the uh, three quarter inch part, the original. So three quarters plus uh, one sixteenth is uh, thirteen. Thirteen sixteenth, and that thirteen sixteenth is part of the final answer here. Thirteen sixteenth of an inch. What do we have here? We have nine inches, and then we have to take away eleven. That's not gonna happen. We have to take away one foot from here and this becomes 18 feet and uh, we have to increase this one by 12 I'm gonna do another uh, upside down addition 9 plus 2 is 11 and the one carry over 1 plus 1 is 2 now we have 21 inches from 21 inches uh, now we can take away 11 inches 1 minus 1 is a 0 2 minus 1 is 1 we have 10 there, 10 inches there and we have 18 inches left here 8 minus 7 is 1 and 1 minus nothing is 1 the answer is 11 feet 10 inches and 13 sixteenths you cannot do it on a calculator on a usual scientific calculator you need a special uh, construction calculator that has a circuitry to do this kind of stuff or you can do it in paper just like this it takes a little longer but uh, you can get away without an expensive gizmo
So this is how subtraction feet and inches uh, is done with uh, borrowing.